copy. So I was using the digital readout today to cut holes in my metal for the plow shanks, and I just wanted to show you guys how to use this machine because it's pretty handy. First, you turn it on right there, and first you have to set your axes to zero. Basically, it's X and Y. The X is left and right, the Y is up and down. And you have your metal here, and you drill a hole right. So here's the first hole I drilled, here's the second hole. But going from the first to the second hole, I wanted it to be only four inches apart. So say we're at the beginning of one hole. That's about right. I want the measurement to be in inches. And I just move my axis all the way across four inches of space. And that's how I ended up at my second hole. And once that's done, I drilled a little pilot just to see where I was going, moved it back to the center, and then you can drill your second hole from there. Additionally, we had a weld drilled today. The casing got put in, and it's going to hold about a thousand gallons of water. Here's our big pile of dirt. <laughs> Clay, I should say. Ooh, that's a mountain. So that happened this morning. It cost us about $3,500, if I'm not mistake mistaken. Which, considering it means going back off-grid water, it's a pretty vital resource for us. I'm really excited about using this well. We just need the pump, which is going to be here in two weeks, and then we can think about going off-grid again. Additionally, how to use the backhoe, and he went nuts. He dug probably about 50 feet today. So that's really wonderful. And we're getting really far down. The moisture is good. And it's getting more clay as we go up. So we're about from there to the northeast side of the house. I think we're about halfway. Maybe a third of the way. We'll find out. John went ahead and hung Aaron's screen door. Pretty nice. Much fancier than the front one. And last but not least, it's pretty dark, but when we were moving things out of the way for the well drillers, I found some eggs. So the mom ran away clucking and screaming. She was pretty upset that we found her nest. So I took all of her eggs and put them in our incubator right away. And I've got Yinso's handy dandy digital thermometer. So that's going to monitor their temperature. And so far so good with these guys. We'll wait three weeks and see if they turn into any chicks. <laughs>